So you're on a self-sufficient journey and you're wondering, how do I make apple cider vinegar? It's easy. Come on along today and I'll show you how. Hey, hey, welcome to City Homestead Living. I'm Tammy. In today's video, you're going to learn how to make apple cider vinegar. Of course, the first thing you need is apples. You can cut up apples that are less than fresh or use the peels and cores from another project. That's what we're doing today. You're gonna fill a glass container of your choice three quarters of the way full of your apple bits. We're using two half gallon jars for ours. We use a lot of apple cider vinegar on our homestead. You can use it for gut health for your animals and people too. You can also use it in recipes and we use it to make pickles. Vinegar even makes a great cleaner. The brine is super easy. You're gonna dissolve one tablespoon of sugar in every cup of water that you use. We're using one quart of liquid for each one of our half gallon jars. Do it with both hands, very carefully. Oh. Now you have to get higher. There you go. Okay, that's maybe a little more because it will settle. So, for one half gallon jar, you're gonna need a quart of water and four tablespoons of sugar. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share our videos on your social media. Sharing our videos is the fastest way to reach our mission to help hundreds of thousands of individuals and families live a more sustainable way of life right where they are. These little glass weights are great and they have a little handle thing that you can pull up on it. So many of them I've seen are just little pucks that they don't um, have anything for grabbing. These are like little ridge so you can actually grab a hold of them and pull them out, out, of, the, out of your brain. I'll leave a link below in the description. Be sure to leave at least an inch of head space because it's gonna bubble like crazy and it'll overflow. You wanna cover it so no dirt and dust gets into it. It's not to be covered with something solid. You need to allow the air to escape. Here we have used coffee filters and rings. You can use a rubber band to secure it. We've also used our new little lids that I bought on Amazon that have uh, a little hole at the top for the air to escape. Really like them this year. But you can also put a piece of material, a flour sack towel I've used before, and again, secure them with a ring or a rubber band. You'll want to let them sit for about two weeks. I put them in a cool, dark place or cover it with a towel on your counter and then stir it every few days uh, with the end of a wooden spoon. After two weeks, you're going to want to strain it out. And as it sets, it will become more vinegary and will clarify. Cover it and set it aside for another two weeks. And all the residue will go to the bottom and become the mother which is how you can start another one. Click on the i card to learn more about how to preserve apples. Thank you so much for coming along with us today on our journey. We appreciate you and we hope that it blessed you in some way. And as always, happy homesteading adventures.